AUT stands for uh, AUT University. Uh, so a, earlier it was AUT, which stood for Auckland University of Technology, but uh, later they rebranded and now they call themselves AUT University. It is one of the youngest uh, universities in New Zealand. I believe it was established in 2000, uh, in the year 2000. Uh, and but the uh, the fact is uh, it existed way 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 before that it was actually set up as a uh, technical institute in the year 1895 so that's a very old institution that eventually got the status of becoming a university and it was started specifically with focus on you know imparting technology skills to people in and around auckland uh, so that is the origin of the uh, of the particular university. So although it is young, it has got some fantastic uh, uh, achievements uh, at the global ranking level. So it is uh, just I'm reading this off their website, to be honest, and it says they are number one in New Zealand for global research impact. They're number one in New Zealand for international outlook. They're number one in New Zealand for health subjects. They are uh, number one millennial university in Australasia and number 14 in the world. So that's fantastic. Uh, so if you compare all the universities that were set up from the year 2000 onwards, so AUT University is at number 14, which is a fantastic uh, uh, ranking for any. Uh, and they are also in the top 30 worldwide for sport, uh, top 75 worldwide for hospitality and leisure management and top 100 worldwide for art and design and they are number 16 worldwide for social impact so it you can see that you know although it is a relatively new university although the pedigree goes back all the way to 1895 it is a fantastic university so i'll move away from just reading of the website and give some of my own personal insights into what this uh, uh university is all about my team and i we have been sending students to study at AUT all the way back from 2004. So we've had a great relationship with uh, AUT University uh, while it was still Auckland University of Technology. Uh, so, and we've had a great relationship with them and our students who have gone there to AUT have done really, really well. So we, I'm yet to think of a, a single student uh, who has not done well, who has gone to AUT University. And isn't that, what you're really looking for is that when you go to a, an institution and you study there, you want to have good outcomes. So I can tell you from our past track record that these students who have gone to <clears throat> AUT University have done really well. Okay. I also did a little bit of research, little bit of research to see what kind of subjects uh, our students have chosen when they have gone to study at uh, uh, AUT University and the top uh, subjects our students have gone to is engineering, applied finance, business with somehow this seems to be a special focus on accounting, communication uh, subjects, uh, construction management, <clears throat> information technology, especially in analytics and uh, information science, uh, international tourism management, hospitality management, health sciences, Applied uh, language studies, not too many, but we've had a few students going for that and applied science. So those are the top uh, uh, okay. sort of uh, the subjects and courses that our, our students, you know, and I'm talking about AJV students have chosen over the last two or three years. So, so instead of me trying to tell you uh, which are the popular courses, I actually just reeled off the particular uh, subject areas where uh, our students are actually going and I can tell you over the last three, four years, I haven't heard of a single student who's had uh, any kind of an adverse comment about AUT or, uh, uh, you know, uh, not had a good outcome. And uh, I remember a lot of these students have gone on and uh, found fantastic jobs and uh, they've also established themselves as residents in New Zealand. So <clears throat> absolutely top marks to AUT. I would strongly endorse it. So about, I think, a month and a half ago, Mary and my my colleague Mary and I, we both went to AUT and we met the director of marketing and we met the, one of the senior managers uh, called Marcel, uh, Marcel Fletcher, and I, we met their director of marketing as well. Very, very friendly people. And they took us around and gave us a little bit of a campus tour and stuff like that. And I was very impressed with the kind of 
involvement they have with their students, whether it is domestic or international. So I came back with a very strong, positive feeling about the kind of engagement that uh, they're having with their students. So top marks for that as well. Job outcomes have been fantastic. And because this is right in the heart of the city in Auckland, part-time job opportunities also will be very good for students because, you know, Auckland is a bustling city. It is the largest city in New Zealand for us. And so, you know, absolutely uh, uh, good opportunities for, uh, you know, sure. <clears throat> uh, part-time work. Like I said, job outcomes are good. And I've, uh, what's the English requirement is another thing my team wants to talk about. So I, when I did this uh, research about AUT and where our students have been going, uh, I also realized that most of them are going for a postgraduate diploma or a master's. So which is obviously they're all uh, opting to go for the PG postgraduate level. And so if you are looking to doing a postgraduate level in at AUT University, then you'll require a 6.5 in IELTS with no band score less than six uh, or the equivalent in P PTE or uh, TOEFL. So <clears throat> from a PR point of view, uh, from a residence future, long-term residence point of view, like I said, I am yet to hear of any of my students who has studied that AUT and has suffered to in finding a job or not being able to move on to the resident point of view. So like I said, all these subjects that I just reeled out, you know, whether it's engineering or uh, IT or health sciences or what have you, most of them have gone on to find uh, jobs and settle down. So the chances of finding residency and PR are good. Of course, you will have AJB to guide you at each and every step. <clears throat> Main industries, again, you know, I'm just linking it back to the subjects I talked about, but all these industries are present in uh, Auckland. Uh, so it's pretty much the same industries as the subjects that uh, I talked about. So yeah, that's pretty good. And then they asked me some uh, my they also want me to uh, talk a little bit about partnership visas and we are beginning to get uh, faster outcomes for our partnership visas. And if you guys go to our Facebook page or Facebook group, you will see that uh, there is a lot of uh, good reviews being posted by our clients who are saying, hey, look, thank you for the effort you put in and our partnership visas are coming. Through.